next week, there'll be 40 minutes on one of the sporting world's most controversial figures, one who, despite the publicity he attracts, remains something of an enigma. As the cricket season starts, Jeff Boycott comes under the 40-minute spotlight at half past nine next Thursday. And with tonight's programme in mind, well, you might like to tune in to Kaleidoscope tomorrow when Peter Nichols will be reporting from Brighton on the European Science Fiction Convention. That's on Radio 4, and it's at 9.45 tomorrow night. On Saturday, The Testament of John stars Anthony Quayle as John Douglas, a man whose buried past is suddenly brought to light by an aggressive stranger. John's son. A more spurious alias could hardly be imagined for Robert Douglas, son of John Douglas, who disappeared in 1936 and never looked upon his eldest child until today. This may surprise you, Mrs. Douglas, but I've never heard of you before tonight. My father married my mother in France, and she died there when I was a child. You call yourself his wife, but to my knowledge, his only wife was my mother. And your son said his name was Johnson. Your secret was safe, however valuable. Oh, it was dangerous, not valuable. It still is, probably, in some quarters, but I don't care anymore. I didn't tell you because I had suppressed that life so completely it hardly existed anymore, even for me. Anthony Quayle and Jane Lapater star in The Testament of John on Saturday at 9 o'clock. Well, now on BBC Two, let's join David Vine in Sheffield for more World Snooker. to the Crucible Theatre here in Sheffield on a day which has seen the latest of Liverpool's sporting stars. 19-year-old John Parrott beat Tony Knowles here in the first round of the Embassy World Championship. And John Parrott now faces Dennis Taylor in the second round. Knowles, the fourth of the 16 seeds to go out. And now those who are left in are all chasing the title held by the world champion Steve Davis. And tonight he starts out his second round match against John Spencer, a man who's won the title three times previously. In the first frame as we join it, John Spencer is behind. The score is 36 to 47. Both players have given away quite a few in fouls. Jack Carnham and Alex Higgins are commentating. Well, that's, that's a rather careless one. He mustn't do too much of that and hit the black in the bargain. That's very wasteful. Hello, Steve can't put him in again because, like, the balls are ideally placed to play a, a good safety shot. John Spencer, 36, Steve Davis, 54. 